Hey everyone, what's going on? Thank you for joining me on another fragrance review. Today I'm looking at a fragrance from the house of Arige Ladori. It's part of their first collection and this one is called Ottoman Empire. So along with their first collection, uh, Ottoman Empire also we had Siberian Musk and Oud Zen from the first collection. Both other fragrances have been reviewed on my channel. Please do check them out if you are interested. So this one was released in 2017. According to Fragrantica, it's classified as Oriental. Definitely agree with that classification. The nose behind this scent is, of course, Russian Adam, who's the co-founder of the house. So that was a little bit of a background regarding Ottoman Empire. What's the notes in this scent? Quite an extensive note list, so bear with me. At the top, we're going to get Jamaican pepper, cardamom, pure rose oud oil from Afghanistan, Georgia, and Bulgaria. So rose oil from three different places. Along with that, we also get Indian rose absolute, Thai white rose, jasmine, and fragipani water, freshly co-distilled by Russian Adam. So Russian Adam not only for Orige Ladori, not only do they source some of the best natural ingredients, which is why the price point is so high on these scents, uh, they also co-distill the ingredients themselves. And because they source some of the highest quality ingredients and are mostly all natural, it's very hard for them to replicate these fragrances again in the future, which is why once they sell out, they're sold out forever. It can never be replicated again. So that was the top of uh, Ottoman Empire. What do we get in the heart? In the heart we get an infusion of frangipani flowers over 20 year old aged saffron. Other three types of Indian agui oil including traces of nearly 20 year old Assam oud. We also get some clean Indian vetiver, cinnamon and nutmeg. The base of the fragrance is 7 year old Bengal sandalwood and Indian oak moss, crude amber resin oil and sweet myrrh. Extensive note list, but what do we get on our skin? From my testing of Ottoman Empire, when I spray this fragrance in on, I get this beautiful, sweet, smooth rose, which is surrounded by some spices. And along with that rose and the spices, I also pick up some gentle floral notes. And this is coming from the note of the jasmine and coming from that white rose. For me, that the smoothness in the opening really reminds me of like a, a sweet, uh, leather or sweet suede sort of accord. The opening for me has this very familiar feel to it. It's got this like a nostalgic feel and it definitely has like an old school vibe going on. And wearing this fragrance, it sort of transports me to the past. It sort of takes me away to a different time zone. Uh, I feel like when I'm wearing this, that I'm transported back to like, to a, like a palace and it's aptly named like to an Ottoman Empire. I'm like sitting in a palace and I'm a sultan of this Ottoman Empire. This is sort of the vibe that I get. It's, it has this beautiful old school feel and it gives off for me this like a sweet leather suede sort of accord. But the notes that you pick up is this smooth rose which is surrounded by these spices. And it also has a backbone of this lovely florals from the jasmine and the white rose. As the scent develops into the heart, the spices in this scent intensify and becomes much, much warmer. The spices you get are very warm in nature, and this is coming from the note of the saffron. As the scent dries down, it keeps this warm spices and this smooth rose and suede sort of leather accord, but it's introduced to this most glorious, amazing, most beautiful sandalwood accord, and the sandalwood gives this fragrance of such a beautiful powderiness, some smoothness, this creaminess, uh, and this subtle touch of woodiness. It's beautiful. The sandalwood in this scent is absolutely gorgeous. The sandalwood is soft in the way it feels, but the projection is very strong. In terms of performance on my skin, this lasted around eight hours, and the projection for the first three hours was just beast mode. But after that, it sits a little bit more closer, and it's in more of the moderate range. But this scent, it feels very, very thick on your skin. It doesn't feel soft. Uh, even though the notes seem soft, the projection is quite bold, it's strong, but the scent itself, it's so regal, it feels high quality, like a king, I would expect a king to wear this, like a, a sultan in the Ottoman Empire as the name suggests, so in terms of occasions, I think this can only really, in my opinion, be worn for a formal setting, and I would only wear this at a night time, I would see myself wearing this to like a wedding, formal occasion is where this should be worn and due to the strength and the notes that you get in this scent for me this can only be worn in the cooler months in the autumn or the winter overall rating for me guys 
the ingredients in the scent are so good and the way this smells is so incredible uh, I, I can only ever give it a perfect score of 5 out of 5 unbelievable fragrance the ingredients unbelievable the smell unbelievable 5 out of 5 perfect score so that's it from the first collection of Arij Ladori. I've reviewed Siberian Musk, Oud Zen and Ottoman Empire all of them stand out all of them blow me away 5 out of 5 all of them the best of the three was definitely Siberian Musk followed by uh, Ottoman Empire then Oud Zen uh, I really wish I could pick up a bottle of Siberian Musk if I could afford it but I can't so that was my review of Ottoman Empire by Arij Ladori. did you enjoy this review please do let me know in the comments below uh, if you want to subscribe to the channels please do I'll be releasing a number of reviews be it from Niche Designer I also do reviews of others and Oud oils as well I'm one of the very few reviews that does all of them so make sure to subscribe if you're interested in that sort of content until next time my friends see you later